is an immorality. It's not who we are as a nation. The biggest source of inequality worldwide is border. The first layer is a 20-foot metal fence, followed by a second fence with a flexible top, which makes it harder to climb. Below the second fence, you have barbed wire netting strung in dense webs. Then comes another taller fence with a flexible top section and more barbed wire. Then you're on the Moroccan side, where you have a six and a half foot ditch, and then a double fence with, you guessed it, more barbed wire. The race is on to get Hungary's border fence ready by the end of the month. It's being built by prison inmates at this steelworks at Duna Uivaros in central Hungary. The nature and the number of illegal migrants entering the European Union is unwanted by, by all the European countries. Uh, nobody's prepared for uh, the integration, for the incorporation of a million people. Meanwhile, let's go to the country of Cyprus. The UN built a wall there, and you know what it did? It successfully ended the fighting between the Turkish and the Greek combatants. So the technology is there, and the proof is there that walls do work, so really no one's buying it. Uh, we're welcoming you back to America Trends here on the YouTube America TV Network and on Biz Talk Radio, and welcoming the American Truth Project's Barry Newsbaum, our friend of the show, talking about border security and all that good stuff, other political headlines of the day. Talk about State of the Union in a moment, and also where is Ruth Bader Ginsburg, where, oh, where? And how is she? But Barry, um, just that, that the video we saw and heard just now is just so telling. It's so evident. When you see the technology that's available, that's been implemented by virtually every country with an unchecked immigration problem, Amy, uh, the question for involved, caring, patriotic Americans is how the heck could anybody be against it and, and justify it with a straight face? The purpose of a wall aligns with the sovereignty of a nation. And the sovereignty of a nation is based on protectable, definable, defensible borders. The first job of the country, the national government, is to protect its borders. By virtually giving up that control or eliminating that control and opening them up, you're abrogating your right uh, to be a leader in this country. When you swear allegiance to the Constitution, you are promising to protect and defend the Union. These people, like Nancy on down, who say it's immoral, are liars. What they really are saying is, we want more people in that are illegal, that we can shepherd to become good registered voting Democrats to support our reign of whatever you want to call it, <laughs> and perpetuate it. That's the truth. And anybody that tells you otherwise is a liar. These are the people that have walls around their own houses, but they don't want a wall around their country. So illegals can go to your house, but not to Nancy's house. Well, the answer is evident. There's a cartoon that shows uh, people like Pelosi and, and Jerry Brown leading people over the border straight into the voting booth. So when you say they are liars, they really do need to explain the endless file footage of all of them talking just a few, just not so long ago, just a few years, which is just a short time and how long they've been in office and yeah, been term limits, whole other segment, but talking about how we need the walls and we can't have any more illegal immigrants. So it's just laughable for them to do it now. They're mad, mad, mad because President Trump wants it and they've been having this hissy fit for a few years now because of him. So, uh, and, and you just, but like I said, you wonder if the base will buy it. You have people like Kamala Harris, who officially, I guess, threw her hat into the ring Sunday and Monday night, Monday night already, CNN threw her this, this um, adorable town hall, just a love fest, um, just for her. And, and she, I guess in the past, she's, uh, connected, she's compared ICE, our immigration enforcement, to the KKK. So that's special, right? When you have these um, analogies that are so wrong factually, the KKK is one of the most hateful American groups in the history of this country. The ICE agents are patriotic law enforcement officers, get this, enforcing the laws that the Congress of the United States passed. ICE doesn't make up any rules or regulations. They enforce the laws of the land. To say these people are vicious, racist killers shows you how unqualified Kamala Harris is to be president 
of the United States. Yeah, people are saying over and over again, her optics are good, she looks confident, but just a lot of empty things. And, you know, she wants to get rid of, of, of private insurance altogether, but that's just, like I said, a whole other segment. Um, but um, going back to Pelosi, she has now extended that invitation for President Trump to do the State of the Union. It would have been taking place this week, but she disinvited him, citing the state, or excuse me, citing the government shutdown, which as of Monday was over. So now she extended this invitation for him to do it February 5th, and he's graciously accepted. So um, this should all be interesting. If I was his policy writer, um, hint, hint, here's what I would recommend the president <laughs> do on February 5th. Looking for another gig, Barry. That was in jest. But here's my free advice, President Trump, if you're listening today. I would go before Congress make the usual platitudes about how great our country is and how we can get together with a joint session of Congress, even though we disagree most of the time. And then I would say, so here's the deal. I would list, if I was President Trump, let's say 20 projects that nobody has ever heard of that all cost in the billions, like soybean support, not to grow soybeans, or bridges to nowhere, or aid to Central American countries, or things like studying bird migration in the Antarctic, and add up the billions and billions and billions and billions and billions that nobody knows even gets spent because they're rounding errors on a weekend uh, of our American budget, and say, and I'm asking for $5 billion to make you safe. How dare any member of Congress that stands up and says no to that because it's too much money, but they voted for a bird migration study or studying turtles in the Galapagos Islands or whatever. I think he can embarrass them into it and then say, but if you don't give me the money, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to declare a national emergency and to get the funding started, I'm going to pull money from the Pentagon which I can do under certain discretionary rules, and Homeland Security, which I can do the same way. And this wall is getting built, with or without you. Yeah, and by the way, why do we talk about the wall every day? That was part of what the shutdown was about. This is important. It's what Trump is trying to, he's trying to keep us safe. And it, it, he wants it. They wanted it, too, until Trump wanted it. So it, it's just a whole thing. So um, anyway, State of the Union coming up uh, February 5th um, for now. That's what we know. Uh, Barry, you got about a minute, but wanted to ask you this whole thing about Ruth Bader Ginsburg. First, she wasn't, uh, she's never been absent from the bench for 25 years. Then it was a Monday and a Tuesday. And, and then they finally said, okay, all next week she's taking off. We've had no updates as to her health. And we know that the Democrats are scared. Uh, just, it's the, it's the most frightening thing, bone chilling thing for them that Trump would have another nominee if she, would to, if she were to step down because of illness. If, if she passes, or becomes incapacitated and unable to fulfill her duties, Trump will get the next pick. There's nothing the Democrats can do about it other than make a tantrum like they did for Gorsuch and obviously uh, in the last uh, nomination of a couple of weeks ago for Kavanaugh. He will get another pick. There's nothing they can do. The pick will be confirmed and that pick will be there for generations. The court will be changed permanently. And the conspiracy theories will continue until we get another update. It's been days. Bear Barry Nussbaum of the American Truth Project. Check him out there. Thank you for being on America Trends. I know you ain't afraid to